a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Juan Martín del Potro Juan Martín del Potro, nicknamed Delpo, is an Argentine professional tennis player who is currently ranked world number four in men's singles by the Association of Tennis Professionals. His biggest achievement has been winning the 2009 US Open, defeating Rafael Nadal in the semi-final and five-time defending champion Roger Federer in the final. He was the first to defeat both Federer and Nadal during the same major and was the only man outside the Big Four to win a major between the 2005 French Open and the 2013 US Open, a span of 35 tournaments. He is also the second Argentine and the fifth youngest man to win the US Open in the Open era. Other career highlights include reaching the 2018 US Open final, winning the bronze medal in men's singles at the 2012 London Olympics, the silver medal at the 2016 Rio Olympics, the Indian Wells Masters in 2018, and being part of his country's successful Davis Cup team. But his career has also been hampered by a succession of wrist injuries. Del Potro achieved a top 10 ranking by the Association of Tennis Professionals for the first time on 6 October 2008. In January 2010, he reached a ranking of world number 4. After which Del Potro had to withdraw from most of the tournaments in 2010 due to a right wrist injury. He returned in 2011 and was back to world number 4 in January 2014, but had to withdraw from competition due to another wrist injury, but this time to his left wrist. He again returned to the ATP World Tour in February 2016 after a long injury-induced absence. At the 2016 Summer Olympics he discovered a huge vein of form, defeating world number one Novak Djokovic in straight sets in the first round and number three Rafael Nadal in the semi-finals, claiming silver after falling in the final to number two Andy Murray in four attritional sets. Only weeks later, Murray and Del Potro met again in the Davis Cup semi-final in Glasgow with Del Potro emerging victorious in five sets. He then led Argentina to their first ever Davis Cup victory by defeating Croatia's Marin Cilic in the final in Zagreb. He reached his first major semi-final since 2013 by defeating Roger Federer in the quarter-finals of the 2017 US Open. In 2018, he won his first Masters 1000 title at the Indian Wells Masters, defeating defending champion and world number one Roger Federer in the final. After reaching the semi-finals of the 2018 French Open, he again matched his career high of number four. Finally, in August, he achieved the world number three ranking for the very first time. At the 2018 US Open, he reached his second Grand Slam final. Having started playing tennis at the age of seven, Del Potro won his first senior match in 2004 at the age of 15. At the start of the 2006 season, at 17 years of age he notched his first ATP Tour match win against world number 117, Albert Portas. In 2008, he became the first player in ATP history to win his first four career titles in as many tournaments. He also completed the second longest winning streak in 2008, and the second longest by a teenager in the Open era with his winning sequence spanning 23 matches over five tournaments, falling just one short of Rafael Nadal. Early life Juan Martín del Potro was born in Tandil, Argentina. His father, Daniel del Potro, played semi-professional rugby union in Argentina and is a veterinarian. His mother, Patricia Lucas, is a teacher, and he has a younger sister named Julieta. He also had an elder sister who died when she was eight years old in a car accident. Del Potro speaks Spanish, English and some Italian. Aside from tennis, he enjoys playing association football and supports the Boca Juniors team in Argentina and Juventus in Italy. He would often dedicate time to both sports during his youth. And Argentine-Italian international footballer Mauro Camaranesi, who grew up in the same town, remains a close friend of Del Potro. Del Potro began playing tennis at the age of seven with coach Marcelo Gomez. Del Potro's talent was discovered by Italian ex-tennis professional Hugo Colombini, who accompanied him through the initial phases of his young career, and is still today his agent and close friend. When questioned about his ambitions in tennis he replied, I dream of winning a Grand Slam and the Davis Cup. 
Despite refusing to participate in the Davis Cup several times, he has since achieved both goals. He is a Roman Catholic. Junior Years As a junior in 2002, Del Potro won the Orange Bowl 14s title, beating Marin Silic en route to a victory over Pavel Chikov in the final. In 2003, at the age of 14, Del Potro received wild cards to three ITF circuit events in Argentina, where he lost in straight sets in the first round of each. As a junior, Del Potro reached as high as number three in the combined junior world rankings in January 2005. Early career In May 2004, Del Potro won his first senior match, at the age of 15, at the ITF circuit event in Buenos Aires by defeating Matias Nemes. He then went on to lose in three sets to Sebastian Dicud in the second round. His next victory came over five months later against the Chilean Alvaro Loyola in a tournament in Antofagasta. Later that year, Del Potro reached the quarterfinals of the ITF circuit event in Campinas, Brazil, recording victories over Enrique Melo and Alessandro Camarco. Del Potro won two more matches before the end of the year and saw his world ranking rise from number 1,441 in August to number 1,077 in November. He also reached the finals in the Argentina Cup and Campionati Internazionale d'Italia Junior tournaments. Del Potro reached his first final of the ITF Junior Circuit on the 11th of January 2005, the Copa del Café Junior ITF tournament in Costa Rica where he lost to Robin Haas in three sets. He was involved in a dispute with the umpire during this match, who decided to stop play, because of rain, which Del Potro believed favored Haas. Because of the rain delays, the final set had to be played indoors. This was the first time the indoor courts had been used in the 44-year history of the youth tournament. At the age of 16, Del Potro reached his first senior singles final at the Futures Tournament in Berimbau Now Calpan, Mexico, where he lost to Darko Majarovsky. He then went on to win consecutive titles at two future ITF circuit events in Santiago, Chile, including the 26th International Junior Tournament. In the first tournament, he beat Jorge Aguilar, and in the second, he did not drop a set in the whole tournament and defeated Thiago Alves in the final a player ranked more than 400 places higher at the time. He won his third title in his home country by defeating Domion Pytriarca, who forfeited the match at the ITF circuit event in Buenos Aires. Del Potro turned professional after the Italy F-17 event in Bersano, and in his first professional tournament, the Lions Trophy in Reggio Emilia. He reached the semi-finals, where he lost to countryman Martin Vassello Aguayo in three sets. Two tournaments later, he reached the final of the Credit Card City Mastercard Tennis Cup in Campos dos Ordao, Brazil, where he lost to André Sá in straight sets. After turning 17, he won the Montevideo Challenger by defeating Boris Pasansky in the final in three sets. That same year, he failed in his first attempt to qualify for his first Grand Slam at the US Open, losing in the first round to Paraguayan Ramon Delgado. Throughout 2005, Del Potro jumped over 900 positions to finish with a world ranking of number 157, largely due to winning three Futures tournaments. He was the youngest player to finish in the year-end top 200. 2006, First Steps on Tour In February, Del Potro played his first ATP Tour event in Viña del Mar, where he defeated Albert Portas before losing to Fernando Gonzalez in the second round. Later, seeded seventh, he won the Copper Club Campes Trader Aos Calientes by defeating the likes of Dick Norman and Thiago Alves, before beating Sergio Reutemann in the final. Del Potro qualified for the main draw of his first Grand Slam in the 2006 French Open at the age of 17. He lost in the opening round to former French Open champion and 24th seed Juan Carlos Ferrero. Having received a wild card, he reached the quarterfinals of the ATP event in Umag, Croatia, where he lost in three sets to the eventual champion, Stanislas Vavrinka. In Spain, he participated in the Open Castilla Waleon Challenger tournament held in Segovia, defeating top seed Fernando Verdasco in the quarterfinals and Benjamin Becker in the final. 
Del Potro qualified for his first U.S. Open in 2006, after being seeded ninth in the qualifying stages, where he beat Brian Verhaley, Wayne Arthurs, and Daniel Kolera in straight sets. In the U.S. Open, he lost in the first round to fellow qualifier Alejandro Falla of Colombia in four sets. He went on to qualify for his first ATP Masters Series tournament in Spain, the Mutua Madrileña Madrid Open, where he lost in the first round to Joachim Johansson. After receiving a wild card thanks to Roger Federer, he reached the quarterfinals of the 2006 Davidoff Swiss Indoors in Basel, Switzerland, defeating lucky loser Tobias Clemens in the first round and George Basel in the second round before losing to the eventual runner-up Fernando González in three sets. Del Potro finished 2006 as the youngest player in the top 100 at 18 years, two months. 2007, first top 10 win. Del Potro began the year by reaching his first semi-final in ATP Adelaide, Australia, where he lost to Chris Gokchzoni, having beaten Igor Kjernitsen earlier in the day. He then reached the second round of the Australian Open, where he had to retire, because of injury in his match against eventual finalist Fernando González in the fifth set. In February, Del Potro played for Argentina in the first round of the Davis Cup against Austria, winning the fourth and deciding match against Jürgen Melzer in five sets, allowing Argentina to qualify for the quarterfinals. Del Potro defeated Feliciano Lopez before losing to eventual semi-finalist Mardi Fish in the second round of the Indoor Region's Morgan Keegan Championships. In his next ATP Masters event, he reached the second round of the Pacific Life Open, beating Gustavo Quinton in the first round, but then losing to Richard Gasquia. Del Potro went further in the Sony Ericsson Open, reaching the fourth round. After he defeated three top 50 players, Jonas Bjorkman, Marcos Bagdatis, and Mikhail Yuzny, before falling to Rafael Nadal in two sets. In May, he lost in the first round of the French Open to eventual champion Nadal. In his first grass court event, Del Potro beat Thomas Johansson in two sets and reached the second round at the Queen's Club, where he lost to Nadal. He also reached the quarterfinals in Nottingham the following week. There he beat British qualifier Jamie Baker and Keir Knightson in the first two rounds, but lost to Ivo Karlovic at the quarter-final stage. At his inaugural Wimbledon Championships, he defeated Davide Sanguinetti in the first round, before losing to eventual champion Roger Federer in the second round, after a rain delay in the third set. Del Potter lost to Frank Dantzvik in three sets in the second round of the singles at the ATP event in Indianapolis. At the same event, Partnered with Travis Parrott in doubles, he won his first doubles tournament, defeating Teimuraz Gabashvili and Karlovic in the final. He regards this as a special victory, it was fantastic to play doubles with Parrott. I'm so happy, because I've never won a doubles tournament. For the rest of my life, I will remember this tournament. Del Potter qualified for the ATP Masters Series event in Cincinnati, where he reached the third round. He defeated countryman Guillermo Cañas in the first round and Philip Kohlschreiber in the second, before losing to former world number one Carlos Moya. At that year's US Open, he defeated Nicolas Mahat and Malza, before losing to eventual finalist and third seed Novak Djokovic in the third round. He also reached the third round of the Madrid Masters by beating Potito Starace and Tommy Robredo before losing to eventual champion David Nalbandian in straight sets. In the last tournament of the year, the Paris Masters, he reached the second round, where he lost to Nikolai Davidenko. That year, Del Potro was the youngest player to finish in the year-end top 50 at 19 years, two months. 2008, Breakthrough Del Potro's first half of the season was hampered by injuries and a change of coach, starting with a first-round loss in Adelaide, where he was the seventh seed. He then made it to the second round of the Australian Open in January, only to retire against David Ferrer due to an injury. Del Potro returned to the circuit in March, winning his first match against Jesse Levine at the Sony Ericsson Open, before losing in the second round to Lopez. Struggling with injuries, his ranking fell as low as number 81 in April. At the start of the year, I was playing good, but I had many injuries, many problems with my body, with my physique, said Del Potro. 
I changed my coach, changed my physical trainer, I changed everything. In May, Del Potro had to retire again, this time in a first round match against Andy Murray at the Rome Masters. During the second set, the Argentine allegedly made derogatory comments about Murray's mother which resulted in a complaint to the umpire. Del Potro's serve was subsequently broken three times in a row, and he suffered a back injury, which caused his retirement. In his second Grand Slam of the year, the French Open, he was eliminated in the second round by Simone Bellelli in four sets. In June, he reached the semi-finals of the Auden Open, losing to eventual winner and top seed David Ferrer in straight sets. For the second year in a row, he was knocked out of Wimbledon in the second round. He won his first round clash with Pavel Snobel in straight sets, but then lost to Stanislas Vavrinka. A successful summer followed for the Argentine. In July, Del Potro and his team decided to remain in Europe to test his fitness. We decided to play on clay courts for my back. Because if I start to play again on hard courts, maybe I will injure it again, he recalled. Del Potro won his first career ATP Tour title at the Mercedes Cup in Stuttgart, defeating Gasquier in straight sets in the final. A week later, Del Potro reached his second career ATP Tour final at the Austrian Open in Kitzbühel, where he beat local Hope and sixth seed Melzer in less than an hour, to claim his second title in two weeks. Having competed in just two clay tournaments all of the 2007 season, he never thought he would win his first two titles on clay courts. In August, Del Potro won his third consecutive title at the Countrywide Classic in Los Angeles, beating Andy Roddick in straight sets in the final. After the match, Roddick praised his opponent. Del Potro, hits this way, and this way kind of equally and he can hit it from inside out and running to it, which is a good thing for him, bad for the rest of us. A fourth consecutive title followed a week later in the Leg Mason Tennis Classic in Washington, D.C where he recorded a victory over Victor Troicki, becoming the first player in ATP history to win his first four career titles in as many tournaments. I don't really understand what I did. It is difficult to believe that I have won four consecutive titles. Del Potro said, crediting coach Franco Davin for his impressive run. He changed my game. He changed my mind. He changed everything. When I play and I see him in the stands, it gives me confidence. I can play relaxed. At the 2008 US Open, Del Potro progressed to the third round, where he won his first match to five sets in the circuit against Gilles Simon to reach the round of 16. He went on to defeat Japanese teenager Kei Nishikori in straight sets. In the quarterfinals, he was stopped by eventual finalist Murray, losing after almost four hours. The defeat came after 23 consecutive victories the second longest winning streak in 2008 and the longest winning streak by a player outside the top 10 in the last 20 years. Del Potro was selected to play his first home-based Davis Cup tie, between Argentina and Russia. He won his first singles match against David Denko in three sets. He also won the fifth and deciding match against Igor Andreev in straight sets, booking Argentina a place in the final. At the AIG Japan Open Tennis Championships, he made the final by defeating 11th seed Yako Niemenin, top seed, and defending champion Ferrer, and 4th seed Richard Gasquier. He was defeated by Thomas Bedeich in the final. At the Madrid Masters, he lost in the quarterfinals in straight sets to Roger Federer. He reached the semi-finals of his next tournament, the Davidoff Swiss indoors, before losing to countryman Nal Bandian. He was beaten by Nalbandian again in his next tournament, this time it was in the second round of the Paris Masters. Del Potro blamed fatigue for his defeat, it's difficult to play the last tournament of the year. I was tired, my mind was in Argentina, the venue for the Davis Cup final. This left Del Potro's qualification for the 2008 Tennis Masters Cup out of his hands, but Joe Wilfried Songa beat James Blake in the semi-finals which was enough to ensure his place at the year-end event. Del Potro won one match at the Masters Cup, against Songa, but lost his other two matches against the higher-ranked Djokovic and Davidenko, meaning that he exited the tournament in the round-robin stage. This was his last event of the year on the ATP Tour. He went on to lose one match in the Davis Cup final, against Lopez, as his team succumbed to a 3-1 loss against Spain.
He was forced to withdraw from his second match due to a thigh injury and was replaced by Jose Acasaso. Nonetheless, Del Potro enjoyed a successful season, winning four titles and finishing 2008 as the youngest player in the top 10, top-ranked Argentine, and highest-ranked South American. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?